So it's now the beginning of July and the government's announced that museums can now open. Here at the Haynes International Motor Museum, we're actually going to be delaying our opening until October. But this is really exciting because we're going to be developing some significant areas of the museum and the visitor experience will be super exciting when we do reopen. The two major projects that we're looking at are our new car park with 450 new spaces and developing several new exhibitions within the museum. So we're now standing in uh, the museum reception area with Chris Marsh, our museum curator. And Chris is now going to give you uh, a top-down overview of what these changes will mean from uh, a curatorial perspective to the museum. Chris. Thanks, okay. What we've done is, is we've got a full plan here of the museum layout. And um, just to orientate ourselves a little bit, we're here in reception and those who know the uh, museum and uh, recognize the, the entrance on this large plan that we've got here um, that leads you normally into Dawn of Motoring, Hall 3, and, and the Red Room and the other exhibition spaces. The new development of these particular areas will include a new John Haynes exhibition, uh, which will be uh, placed when you enter into the museum space, followed by a reworking of the Dawn of Motoring and the Vintage and Veteran space. And that is one of the major changes that I think visitors will appreciate when they, come, when they come into the museum itself. Following that, Red Room will undergo some re various re states of refurbishment along with the Millennium, which is our transitional and temporary museum space for specific exhibitions and also for events. The remainder of the exhibition is having a, uh, a space is having a variety of upgrades and changes, which I'll indicate later on. And obviously the other main area that we're talking about is Hall 6, which is the, will be the Williams uh, uh, Formula One exhibition space. Chris, thank you so much for that. Um, and in the coming weeks, I'll be talking some more with, uh, with Chris, and Chris will then focus on each individual exhibition area and give you a little bit more of an insight into what you can expect when we reopen.